Welcome to this new video of my YouTube series Getting Started with Eclipse Micro Profile 3. In this video we are going to cover the Micro Profile Health Spec. With the Micro Profile Health Spec you can add readiness and liveness probes to your application to determine whether your application is live and up and running and ready to accept traffic. So if you have Micro Profile 3 in your project and started your application, you will get a new endpoint called health. Since micro profile health 2, we are now we can now specify the health status even further. So there is also now a live endpoint. This determines whether or not the application is up and running and healthy. And the other one is ready. So this is a probe which checks once your application starts if it's ready to accept traffic, from example, from a load balancer. But to be backwards compatible, there's also this health endpoint still in place, which returns all your liveness and readiness checks within uh, these response. So to determine the status, all checks are combined with a logical AND. So if one of the checks returns down and not up, the overall status is down in this case. So the same is true for the live and ready endpoint, which has the same behavior. There's also a different HTTP status returned. If the overall status is up, you'll get the HTTP status of 200. And if it's down, it's a 5 or 3, it's service unavailable. Adding new liveness and readiness checks to your application is pretty simple. To create a new readiness probe, just create a new class. Name it whatever you want. And here you then have to implement the health check interface and override one method called call and here you return the health check response. So in this case, we'll make it pretty simple. We use the builder for this. You have to give this check a name. So call it readiness and a state. Let's say it's statically up and then we have to build it. And now with MicroProfile Health 2, we have to uh, specify whether this is a readiness check or a liveness check. So here, let's say that's a readiness check and add the readiness annotation to this class, save it. And this check should now appear here at this health endpoint as this combines all readiness and liveness checks, but also when I check for the readiness of the application. So then it's here available, returns up and my application would now be able to to get traffic. If I hit live, there shouldn't be any checks because we didn't add any yet and you see the readiness check is not present here. So there's a differentiation between those checks. And we can also add a liveness check. Let's maybe add a flaky liveness check so I can show you that there's actually a time when your application is down and how this behaves. So here I've created a flaky liveness check. It also implements the health check interface. And when I override the method, instead of statically coding up or down, I'm using this state builder function. And here it's just a random true or false to see also the state when the application is down. So here let's add liveness the liveness annotation to the class and check for the liveness. Now you can see here it's down because this random might return might have returned false in this case. Here it's up and if I check the overall health which currently combines liveness and readiness and if the liveness returns false let's see now it's down but readiness would be up, so the overall status is a logical AND, so they are combined and the logical AND returns down. 
Within your application or if you use Kubernetes, you should really rely on these dedicated endpoints. So either use liveness checks to check sequentially um, if your application is up and the readiness check is just for the bootstrapping of your application to see if everything is started and ready. So here these two checks are really simple checks for your application. You have to specify what you need. So if you, for example, rely on external systems to work, a database or a queue, you could check for their connection if everything is up and running and you have a connection to it. And once these return true, you could return or you could create a dedicated readiness check for this and return up once everything is there and you're ready to, to get traffic. So to provide you a more relevant use case for the liveness checks, I've created a disk size check class. And this class um, determines the left space on the disk. So if the application requires some file system space to work to either store images or files, this might be a good use case. So here we can determine if the free space mets a specific threshold and if this threshold is met we are not able to work anymore or some administrator should add further disk storage to our node but with this we can notify or monitor it at least so here i'm creating a new file instance of the root folder and get the free disk space and within my health check response builder i'm adding the name disk size check and also, this is new, we can add data, any data we want to our check. So here I'm also including the remaining this space we have. And for the state, I'm going to return if the free space is greater than 100. So if we have more than 100 megabytes of free storage, we are able to work with this node and everything is fine. So to enable it, we also need here the liveness annotation, save it, and let's wait for the result. So within here, liveness, let's check. And here our liveness check returns the current remaining disk space. So here I have about 480 gigabyte of disk size left, so it's fine. And therefore our application status is also up. In this case, the overall status is down because our flaky liveness check returns down. There is another possible solution you can do with MicroProfile Health. You can have a health check for both the readiness and the liveness probe. And this I'm going to show you with this last check. So here I'm creating a static health check response with the name general check check and here i'm adding a little bit of data to show you what you can do so you can add further metadata it can be dynamic it can be static so here you can either add a string to this with data class you can add a integer but also a boolean and this just returns that the application is up so and if we add both liveness and readiness annotation to this check this check will now appear for both endpoints. So if you want to reuse a check in your application for both readiness and liveness, you can go for this solution. So here if I now open the live endpoint, you see here the second one is our general check with the data. It's an object where the further data is stored with our data we hard coded there. And if I go to the ready endpoint i should see it also here here it's also present so it's present in both endpoints and you can reuse it that's everything i wanted to show you for the micro profile health specification stay tuned for further videos about eclipse micro profile 3.0